They put up all the money. I do all the work. What if you don't mind my asking what you do? I'd make sure it's known the company's in business. I'd see that it had a certain panache. That's what I'm good at. Not the work. Not the work. The presentation. Presentation. Yes. Let's take a look at presentation here. Um, I just saw the beginning of this clip here, which is quite astonishing. Mass uh, manipulation, media manipulation, um, how the mainstream works. I mean, every now and again, you kind of have to leave your comfortable uh, bubble of the alternative sort of media realm and jump right into the mainstream <laughs> insanity to really get an you know, an eyeful and an earful of how people are manipulated and um, how these things are presented. So I want to take a look at this, just the sort of opening sequence to hear. This is the build-up. It's ABC News, and they're going to be uh, having an interview with Bob Barbara Wawa and uh, V. Stiviano. V. Stiviano, of course, those people, most people must know by now, is the woman who, uh, maybe a high-priced hooker, um, who betrayed her very wealthy uh, man, Donald Sterling, by recording conversations, private conversations, and then releasing them to the media. And, um, of course terrible racist sort of comments were said and recorded but that's beside the point let's look at this presentation that they put together here i'm going to come in and offer uh comments as it goes along at abc news exclusive just a short time ago the woman at the center of a firestorm answering questions for the first time about the owner of the la plot clippers donald sterling she and you look here <laughs> this cracks me up this is david muir david muir look at this sappy fucking fool here and what the hell is with this what is this a star trek uniform <laughs> i believe this is 2020 as you can see here it is a it looks like it's a 20 2020 and barbara wawa is still around and david muir the up-and-coming dashing young anchor for uh, abc news who just happened to be at all the major hoaxes of the past year or so including sandy hook or go back to Aurora. He just happened to be there. He was in Tucson. Just happened to be there when Mrs. Kirch uh, got shot in the head. He was also at the Boston Marathon. He just happened to be there. He was at all these things. So he's a major mind control uh, persona of the media. He was the one who recorded him making racist comments. How she explains it in a moment. But first, who is she? That young mystery woman hiding behind the visor, the woman involved with a billionaire. Just <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> you got to laugh at this. This guy, I mean, look at the face that they put on when they're telling you this shit. They've got to act it out. It's so utterly pathetic. It is just hilarious. Nearly 50 years her senior. You have seen her all week. Skating in front of her house with that odd visor covering her face. Hey. You, you, that's you, that's you, that's me, that's everyone else. You have seen her all week. All week you've been seeing her. That's all you see is this woman with her visor. <laughs> yes, it's the woman with her visor. What she got here? What's going on here? Who are these people? Like, she's got a visor. It looks like she's got a bottle of Bacardi or something here and is this her bodyguard I don't know who are these people what are they carrying what is this weirdness <laughs> you've seen her all week yeah this is how they talk to the slumbering sheeple at home they're like oh yeah it's this girl again oh yeah they've been going on about her all week oh yeah it's been in my face every single day morning noon night it's there V Stiviano V Stiviano yes V Stiviano let's continue espousing presidential aspirations. Yeah, that's a, not a choice quote. One day I will be the president of the United States of America. Well, a lot of people are saying she is a man, so... <laughs> you might have a better chance if you ditch the hairdo and uh, maybe the fake tits. No, I'm kidding. She's probably a woman. I don't know. I don't like to make fun of people the way they look, but uh, let's continue here. 
who is she? She is 31-year-old V. Stiviano, the woman often at Sterling's side at Clipper Games, nearly 50 years his junior. On Instagram, she calls herself an artist, lover, and philanthropist. <laughs> She's an artist, lover, writer, chef, poet, stylist, philanthropist. Oh my god. That is just hilarious. That This is basically, I do nothing. <laughs> I have no skill, no talent. These are the things I want to be, though. Or, uh, you know, you're basically a whore. <laughs> A con artist? You've got to put this con artist in there. Writer? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Chef? What is it? Chef Boyardee? <laughs> Poet? Poet, yes. I'm sure Edgar Allan Poe uh, is rolling in his grave, as is John Keats. A uh, stylist, well, I don't know, if you're into Frankenstein, I suppose philanthropist, that's hilarious. <laughs> Did you donate those uh, those three, um, the Ferrari, the Bentleys that um, your uh, rich man gave to you? I don't think so. Hilarious. But it was that Instagram account that got her into hot water with Sterling when she posted that picture of herself with magic... And as you can see here, I mean, the way that they do it, they're spinning the image, the look that she has here. Here she looks mischievous, like she's up to no good, like she's been sleeping around, like she's got a thing for magic. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. The music, right? Listen to the music that's playing. It's just too funny. Johnson. Sterling's anger at Stiviano, part of that now famous recording. Why are you taking pictures with minorities? Why? What's wrong with minorities? That bothers me a lot that you want to broadcast that you're associating with black people. Guys, and, and look at the graphics that they use, the split down the middle, Sterling written in red, so it's imprinted in your brain. <laughs> Anyways, yeah... I mean, look at the way that they spin this thing. It's just hilarious. It's so, oh, it's so calculated. Stiviano says she's half black, half Latina. Her name was Maria Vanessa Perez until 2010 when she legally changed it because she says she felt she hadn't, quote, yet been fully accepted because of my race. Yeah, so they bring in this right away. I mean, look at the way this story is scripted. It's such utter bullshit. The whole thing is fucking bullshit, right? And this recording that supposedly she had was from 2013. Who knows when exactly? But yet, she changed her name to V. V. <laughs> Number five, for those who like the fifth age of the Illuminati. Accept it because of my race. What race is that? Well... Uh, you don't know, you take a guess. In the recording, despite Sterling's anger, Stiviano tries to make peace. Here you go, honey, a little bit of juice, baby. Thank you, honey. Honey, if it makes you happy, I will remove all of the black people from my Instagram. Donald Sterling has allegedly showered Ms. Stiviano with gifts, including a $1.8 million duplex. This Ferrari, two Bentleys, and he threw in an extra $240,000 to cover living expenses. But Sterling is still married to the same woman he married 57 years ago. Seen here next to Stiviano, the 80-year-old Mrs. Sterling. So to get them back, Shelley Sterling filed a lawsuit in March. So against they... the other woman who met her husband at a Super Bowl game. And... They can put their, they're bringing in now the third person in this love triangle, right? The old bitch. <laughs> His wife here. And you notice how the music, <laughs> you know, like lasers coming in all of a sudden. All of a sudden. This is just such programming. Every photo. I mean, this guy looks absolutely hideous in photos, and they sure as hell pick the worst possible photos they can to depict him. They paint his name in red. Then they bring in this with her fake blonde hair, the old granny here. <laughs> it's so hilarious. 57 years ago. Seen he and then the photos, of course, here. They've got to have them together. They've got to do it like that. 
Here next to Stiviano, the 80-year-old Mrs. Sterling wants those gifts back. Yeah, there she is. All of a sudden, she's angry. She's angry. She got angry. Look at this. She's baring her teeth. And then the music. <laughs> so to get them back, Shelly Sterling filed a lawsuit in March against the other woman who met her husband at a Super Bowl game. And you notice, too, how all the, the, the photos are always turning. They're always spinning. Like, they're never... Like, it's not like they're focusing in. They're constantly turning. They're constantly turning the photos. <laughs> oh, it's like they're sinking you into the maelstrom of madness, into the maelstrom of bullshit. Look at the way they spin it. In 2010, the lawsuit alleges Stiviano engages in conduct designed to target, seduce, cajole, yeah, and this is this is tabloid stuff. I mean, this is exactly what you'd see on a tabloid. This is exactly this is probably the same photo that they'll use on on National Enquirer or whatever. Engaged in conduct designed to target, seduce, cajole, Hilarious. and or receive as gifts transfers of wealth from wealthy older men. But Shelley Sterling still joined her husband for dinner earlier this week, defending him to the paparazzi. Are you a racist, Mr. Sterling? No, of course not. Are you a racist? The accusations, are they true? Oh, forget it. It's not true. Well, you just heard the wife, now the other woman. Tonight, V. Stiviano is talking. Why did she record Donald Sterling? Is he a racist? And just what is their relationship? <laughs> look at these two. Just look at them. Look at this guy's face. Look at the costume that she's wearing. Oh my god. It's so freaking hilarious. Uh, it's really pathetic. I mean, you've got to have your brain on. Very questions tonight, and she joins us now from Los Angeles. Barbara? David and Elizabeth, it has been such a roller coaster. <laughs> Look at her face. Her eyes are popping out. What has she got? Crabs on her ears? <laughs> Barbara Wawa, the woman who can't even say her name or pronounce it correctly. Oh, she's just too classic. How old is this lady now? I can't believe she's still kicking around. I guess they got many clones for her. Right? She's a oh, perfect mouthpiece, right? They've had her on forever, and she'll probably be on forever. They'll have her head in a jar. <laughs> Day, we met with Donald Sterling and V. Stiviano who describes herself as his personal assistant several times, both agreed to speak to me and then it went back and forth and back and forth. Finally, Donald Sterling forth, decided not to be interviewed, but his companion, the woman you have seen with a visor. <laughs> this is hilarious. This, I'm sorry, Barbara, you should probably wear a visor. In fact, you should just retire, maybe. I don't know. It's an idea. I don't know. And then we get David Muir. David Muir. You can come in and fucking read from the teleprompter. Not so hard, is it? Huh? She did speak to me. So here is that interview with V. Stiviano. Uh, there you go. V. Stiviano. I'm not going to play this shit, but uh, it's just too much. It's too hilarious. I just wanted to show the beginning here because there's so much mind control going on here. There's so many techniques that are being used, like the red of his name here. Just the photo being ripped. Um, they really know how to get in the minds of the sheeple. They show the, like, everything's calculated. It's all calculated. It's all just a movie, basically. That's what it is. It's all a movie. And here's your latest fucking C-level fucking D-grade, F-grade. Fuck, they're failures. They suck. You suck, V. Stiviano. And the way that they show everything, the car, you know, the, the, the $2.8 million uh duplex that she's got and she's got three cars from the guy her roller skates it's just so absurd what a crazy crazy fucking world it is and who the hell watches abc news if you watch abc news you better watch it for the fucking laughs because <laughs> that's all it's good for